My name's Tom Moore, I'm a sculptor, uh, stonemason and stone carver and I work in partnership with Gavin Young on the uh, architectural masonry and carving. Well I first got into stone masonry living in Bristol and near where I was living at the time there was a church being restored. I went and asked if they'd let me work and I started off as an apprentice and went through college and, and, and learnt the trade of stone masonry. And from that I moved into carving and, and, and sculpture, studied architectural carving in London, worked in London for a few years and, uh, and then moved to the West Country, set, set up a workshop. We source our work through conservation companies, private clients and architects, being craftsmen that different organisations will come to when there's need for specific design-led carving and, and uh, stone masonry. It's very important to have a clay maquette to work from, so and, and then the carving is a copy of that, and we all often work from maquettes when the carving's quite complicated. The design work is always initially in the drawing, then in the clay work, and the carving is just a process of copying your clay. Every job you do is different, so you're always learning, and you know, every time you start a new job, there's something that you haven't done before. You know, you, you never stop learning, really. Some things are daunting, but that's the part of the enjoyment, really. With masonry, the, the, the geometry is a, is a big part of it, and actually, that's why mine and Gavin's partnerships worked really well, because as far as the geometry and the setting out, Gavin is really hot on that stuff. We complement each other. I, you know, I talk, take care of the more creative elements of the job. Each of us have improved as a result of working with each other or, or on the sort of elements that where we have a gap. Producing my own work is something that I've wanted to um, do for a long time, but I've always worked to commission up until about three years ago. The bags and the boxes, I'm using very traditional carving techniques. It's exactly the same process as if you were carving a piece of Baroque drapery, and actually a lot of the forms are, are very similar. It's just applied to a different object. It's kind of um, playing with people's perceptions of materials, um, and craft skills and also the objects that are around us and how we view beauty and all those things, you know. They sort of invite people to touch them because, you know, it's that cognitive dissonance where you, you need to touch it to sort of just make sure it, 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 it is what you're being told it is. We don't exclusively work in the South West. We produce work that's gone to Oxfordshire, London, Worcestershire, I mean, anywhere really. And I think it's quite important for us not to be stuck in a local area. The commission that we're currently working on is a piece for Haswell House. And the grounds of the house are various follies in an area called Millwood where there's a dammed stream and one of the follies is a bridge on, on, this, on the dam stream, which a sort of very ornate Baroque folly with carvings of seashells and pearls and leaves and on coping stones. And one side of detail is completely missing. Um, so uh, mine and Gavin's job was to, to sort of imagine what the carvings that are missing would have been like and make them balance with what's existing. Using the, the, the record of the carving that's there and um, creating something that's balanced with similar forms and, 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 uh, and similar weight, but it's very unclear. There's not any record of, of exactly what the carvings were. So with this work, we're working under very strict parameters. We do have a certain amount of creative freedom, but you know our drawings and our maquette have to be approved by the client and the architect. They have to fit very closely within the sort of historical style and, and fit within the spirit and the style of the carvings that we're, that we're replicating. There's always a slight uh, anxiety, which <laughs> is actually essential and healthy. But the more, you've, the more you do something, the, the, the more confident you are. So, you know, you, you reach a stage where it's just a little niggle in the back of your mind. My influence has really come from historic sculpture and carving, I think. Baroque drapery and classical drapery, I love. And um, 
and I suppose that's that's a big influence on my on my work. But as masons and carvers, you kind of um, end up having to to jump around in historical styles, and one week you'll be med carving some medieval style stuff, and then you'll be carving some Baroque stuff, and then you know it'd be a Georgian. So you have to kind of understand about all the different period styles really to to be able to really get to grips with the variety of work that, that really come that comes our way I suppose.